Hello. One of the insanely cool features in FabFilter Pro R2 is you can actually import an impulse response file and Pro R2 will convert it into a settings file in Pro R2, even though Pro R2 is a 100% algorithmic reverb. However, note it's not possible to interpret a signed sweep response file, only transient response files will work. And if you actually load a signed sweep file or non R file, then you'll see a message that'll warn you about it. But let's try it out. It's insanely cool. Here I have a snare. There you go. Let's insert Pro R2. I have an impulse response file from an AMS RMX16 reverb. Let's go here, choose settings, and import IR. This is the 01.wav file that I'm looking for, and we open it, and now you'll see Pro R2 interpreted. There we go. We have an impulse response transfer into a setting in Pro R2. And now we can try it out. Let's set the mix to 50%, okay? And that's how you import IRs and make them into presets. And of course, let's make sure we save this. There you go. We can then add it to our favorites. And if you want, you can write more information about the presets and so on and so forth. There's so many other things in FabFilter Pro R2 to talk about. This was only about importing an IR file. Have fun with Pro R2. It's insanely great. I hope this short video was helpful to you. Have fun mixing.